Now let's examine conformations involving the cyclohexane ring, which is a commonly encountered ring system in the study of organic chemistry. From the two-dimensional Lewis structure, it would appear that the internal bond angle for all carbon-carbon bonds is 120 degrees. However, all carbons are sp3 within the cyclohexane ring system. Thus, the ideal angle for each carbon should be 109.5 degrees. The 109.5 degree ideal angle is accomplished by folding the molecule into three dimensions as shown. The ring is puckered out of the plane. Carbons 1, 3, and 5 are above the plane, and carbons 2, 4, and 6 are below the plane to obtain the necessary 109.5 degree ideal bond angles. Adding the hydrogens to cyclohexane so all the bonds are 109.5 affords the final structure called the chair conformation, which is low in energy due to all Newman projections representing a staggered-like conformation called gauche due to the dihedral angle of 60 degrees between both ring carbons. Your instructor will represent the chair conformation on the whiteboard as shown. Notice that when drawing the chair, opposite bonds within the ring are parallel to each other. Notice that the equatorial bonds all form 109.5 degree angles with the axial bond on the same carbon. In addition, there are six parallel axial positions on each carbon of the ring alternating up and down. And there are six equatorial positions around the ring, which adopt their names due to similar terms found on a globe. When we imagine someone lounging on the ring, it is easy to see why this low energy conformation for the cyclohexane ring is called the chair conformation. All molecules are in constant motion and the chair conformation of cyclohexane is no different. Here we see the chair convert to a boat conformation and then to the other chair. Your instructor will often call these conformational changes chair inversion or chair flip. There are two very important outcomes of this chair or ring inversion. First, notice that axial groups become equatorial and the equatorial groups become axial. Second, if a group was up, it still remains up relative to the other group labeled down which is also attached to the same carbon atom. It is worth your efforts to master drawing pairs of chairs. 